Back here on Ask the Coach, let's look at the final stats from last night's victory over Washington County in the first round of the Class 2A playoffs. Scotty's winning at 43-9 to to run the record to 6-5 and now. Glasgow had 17 first downs to Washington County's 12. Scotty's had 165 yards rushing, 206 yards passing for a total of 371. The Commanders, 125 yards rushing, 29 yards passing, a total of 154. Washington County committed four turnovers. Glasgow did not turn the ball over at all. Scotties were penalized five times for 50 yards. Washington County, seven for 31. Glasgow had 58 offensive plays in the game, had the ball 19 minutes and five seconds. Washington County, 62 offensive plays, had the ball 28 minutes and 55 seconds. Individually, the uh, Scotties were led in rushing by Kyle Nixon, 17 carries, 84 yards, and a touchdown. Desi Austin and Silverio Greer each added 30 yards on the ground. Desi had 12 carries to get those 30 yards. Silverio had four. Uh, Jasper Mundy had two carries for 13 yards and a score. Ryan Jones came in late, as did Dontavis Oates, and uh, each of those kids uh, ran the ball couple of times. Don Davis had three carries for four yards. Ryan, two carries for eight yards. Desi Austin through the air, nine of 16, 206 yards, three touchdowns. Griffin Murphy had three catches for the Scotties, 73 yards and a touchdown along of 52. Ben Hughes was actually the leading receiver, three catches, 87 yards and a touchdown along of 51. Long of 61, excuse me. Uh, Karim Kimball had one catch for 35 yards and a score, and Silverio Greer had two catches for 11 yards. Jasper Mundy only punted twice last night, and uh, he had an average of 29 and a long of uh, 32. Garrett Floyd led the way for Washington County in the rushing department. 19 carries, 101 yards, one touchdown. Through the air, John Floyd was 3 of 8 for 22 yards, two interceptions. Uh, and Trey Cheatham punted five times for an average of 24 yards, along of 43 for the Commanders. Defensively for Glasgow, we'll just go down uh, the line here and tell you about uh, who had uh, all the tackles. We will tell you that Eric Bradshaw led the way for the Scotties from his defensive tackle position with seven tackles on the night. Jasper Mundy had five. Henry Harris had six. Derek Poland had three tackles and a blocked punt. Austin Asher wound up with two tackles. Ben Hughes had one. Evan Riddle had five or six tackles, excuse me, and an interception. Uh, Karim Kimball had five stops. Dwayne Cook had a tackle and an interception. Uh, Silverio Greer had six tackles on the game. Josiah Moore winds up with four and a recovered uh, punt, uh, bad punt snap in the end zone for a touchdown for Josiah. Draven Pope had five tackles, and Stephen Franklin finishes with four tackles. And a sack. So Glasgow now headed to Louisville to face Christian Academy of Louisville, who is uh, one of the top three ranked teams in the state in both the Lickenhouse ratings and in the Associated Press poll. Uh, uh, Scotties will take on uh, Christian Academy at 7 o'clock Central Time there in Louisville on the campus uh, at Cal. Um, Jeff, obviously this, this is going to be one of the best teams, if not the best team you've faced all year long. I know why, uh, E-Town last week, uh, hopefully you're kind of hoping maybe prepared you a little bit to face a team of this kind of quality. But what's, what's ahead for your ball club as you take on Christian Academy of Louisville? Well, what I find interesting of it all is, you know, we've had an up and down, back and forth year, knowing that we're playing a lot of young kids and with only one senior. And and we find ourselves in the same position as we found ourselves in the last four or five years. So, you know, that's a positive for our boys. And, and, and just like in the past, you know, we've either had to play either Bardstown or or we've had to play the sales. Uh, and now we get to play Cal. You know, we haven't played Cal since the year we went to the finals, and we were fortunate enough to beat them here at our place that year. Uh, they're, they're really good, and and and, and Coach LaFors does a great job. Uh, they play a little different style game. They're going to use their tight end a little bit more than most teams do. Uh, but they're extremely fast on the outside. They're extremely big up, up front. So uh, they're going to run like a power-type running game with only one back, uh, very similar to how the University of Louisville plays where Coach LaFour's played there. They have a lot of the same tendencies that, you know, a Petrino-type team will do where they used to tight in a lot. So we'll have our hands full on defense. And, uh, you know, and offensively, they're – they're they're really good up front. Their defensive line and linebackers are just as solid as you're going to ever face. So, you know it's it's going to be it's going to be a challenge for us. But if we can find some way to stay in the ball game early, 
and uh, try to get it to the fourth quarter with a chance to maybe be in a touchdown down or, or you know, something in those effects where we give ourselves the chance at the end to try to pull off an upset, and, and, and it would be an upset. But, uh, you know, we're going to go up with the attitude that we don't have anything to lose. Uh, uh, I, I think our boys will show up. I think they'll play hard. And uh, we just got to try to find a way to make two or three plays and try to find some way to get in the end zone, slow them down just a little bit. But, uh, you know, look forward to the challenge. And uh, I always find the playoffs to be a fun time. It's a time to kind of see where you're at, how you've played, and you've kind of prepared your boys all year long for this opportunity. And, and uh but the thing is, when you play a team like Cal and DeSales, uh, they will expose your weaknesses. And, uh, you know, we've got to limit, you know, any bad plays. You almost got to play doggone near perfect to be able to play with them. And, uh, but we look forward to it. be a good challenge. It's a nice stadium, good place to go play. Uh, you know, I, I just, you know, I just want to go up there and compete. And give our boys an opportunity to uh, to uh, continue to improve and get better. Jeff, congratulations on the win last night in the first round. Good luck against Cal on Friday night. Thank you, Joe. Scotty head coach Jeff Garman, and uh, when we come back, Brad Atwell sits down with Barron County head coach Jeff Griffiths to discuss their game against Christian County on Thursday night. We're back after this on WCLU Sports.
are people gonna think of our new buttermilk crispy chicken? Let's find out. It's probably the best sandwich I've ever had. It's super crispy, but it's also really juicy. So would you guys come back? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, here's our car. The location is on the back. It's McDonald's? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, get out of here. No oh, way. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Try some buttermilk crispy chicken. It's right around the corner at McDonald's. Buttermilk? <laughs> <laughs>